Hello everyone, I hope you had a lovely weekend. So starting off with this week, we are going to review the structure of the speech just to make sure that you're all ready for the E1 assessment, okay? So we're going to discuss the structure of the speech in addition to the TSR, we're going to review the essential vocabulary words, all of which are very important. And I hope that you actually open the BC and review this before your actual assessment. After this lesson, we're going to look at our formative notebooks and discuss the outcome and how to study. Um, so I know all of you are very overwhelmed regarding the speech. Um, that's why uh, Ms. Dima and myself has cre have created a, a worksheet for you. Uh, please take your time and review it very well. There's also a sample of a speech there. It's very important not only just to look at your formative feedback, but also to look at someone else's feedback. That's why we're going to do peer evaluation for you to take a look at each other's work um, Reflect on your knowledge and understanding of writing a speech. Uh, you are also going to fill a, a paper indicating what should be mentioned in the speech and what should not. Okay, so please open this. This if it's very important, read the paragraph below and, and place punctuation marks. You need to practice on your punctuation marks. Um, I think one of the most common errors that Ms. Demon and I have found would be the lack of punctuation marks or the incorrect, incorrect punctuation marks. So please take your time to review them and you can find them on the study guide. So here we're not gonna have actually, we're not actually going to have a class because it's going to be our assessment for the A3. Um, please make sure you review them. This video is very important, persuasive techniques. They are going to follow you until the rest of your life, okay? Why? Because we need to learn how to be persuasive. It's not just skill that you learn for English. Um, if someone asks you something and you actually need to provide a convincing stance, you need to use persuasive techniques based on deforesty, direct address, okay? Anecdote, perhaps tell them a story, all of which are very important. I'm sure you're exhausted of this unit. And it's a lovely idea, unit. Most of you have enjoyed it. We're going to create a poster depicting the importance of implementing social, economic, and ecological sustainability goals in our lives. So we're going to reflect the unit more of our personal life and why it's important to, to actually understand these three main factors. In other words, they're also called the three bottom line, and you're going to learn later on uh, what is meant by the, tr the triple bottom line in INS. And now the fun part begins, the introduction to unit four, the unit that you've all requested. We're going to guess the SOI and the, the concepts and the context of the unit based on riddles, like you're going to put them in the puzzle, and try to coin your own statement of inquiry, just to make sure that you have a very good understanding of what we mean by concepts and context. Okay, so I hope you have a lovely weekend and I can't wait to introduce unit four. I think my favorite class is going to be unit four, the introduction. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate and send me an email.